The Legend of the Giant Cactus by Sammy Jameson The way Skip Stormcloud Hayes tells it, when I was born, my parents used to trade sacks of cotton, bales of straw, and cured bacon for groceries and necessities at Chief Deerfoot's trading post near Seminole, Texas. Chief Deerfoot was from the Apache tribe. The Apache nation stretched from West Texas into the middle of Arizona. They had lived on this land for many centuries. They were here long before white men came to settle the plains and plant crops. One day, my dad and I took our wagon into town to trade for supplies. While we were in town, a bad thunderstorm blew in. We didn't have time to make it back to our farm, so Chief Deerfoot let us stay with him and his family. After supper, we were all gathered around the wood stove to keep warm when Chief Deerfoot said, These plains used to have their own forest, a forest of giant cactus. The giant saguaro cactus used to grow from here all the way to Mexico and as far west as California. They were so strong and fearless that they thought that they could survive anywhere, even West Texas. If the sun beat down on them, they could survive. If it didn't rain for years, they could survive because they stored water inside themselves. They thought there was no enemy that could conquer them. However, the great north wind started to blow drifting snow and freezing cold from Canada into Apache country. The chief of the giant cactus tribe met with a wise chief of the Apache nation. This Apache chief had been given the ability to talk to plants and trees and cactus. The chief of the giant cactus tribe asked, how far have you traveled in this land? The wise Apache chief said, my horse and I have been from the east to the west of Apache country. We have been from the north to the south of Apache country. The giant cactus said, wise chief of the Apache, where can I move my tribe to be safe from our great enemy, the north wind that brings the freezing cold? We cactus can survive the harshest of places, but the water we store inside can freeze and break us open. The giant cactus continued, So there is one enemy we cannot survive, these harsh Canadian winters that blow in with the north wind. Tell us, where is the best place for my tribe? Shall we move to New Mexico? or Arizona near the Colorado River? The wise chief said, Winters are too cold in New Mexico. Go to Arizona, yes, but the land near the Colorado River is given to the pine tree and the fir tree. Winters there are too cold for the giant cactus. You must go four days ride by horse south of the Colorado River. The perfect land for the giant cactus stretches from the Mojave Desert, home of the Joshua Tree, to 1,000 miles into Mexico. That is where your enemy, the North Wind, can't reach you. The wise chief continued his story. One fall morning, we all woke up to discover that overnight every giant cactus in our region was gone. They had all uprooted themselves and used their roots as legs to walk all the way through New Mexico into the Sonoran Desert of Southern Arizona. They planted themselves there and have grown and thrived ever since. Chief Deerfoot told us the great north wind prevailed against the giant saguaro cactus 
and that is how West Texas lost our cactus forest. Now do you understand how strong you must be to f survive as a farmer in West Texas? For more bedtime stories like this one, link to my channel in the description below.